what's the deal what's the deal it's y'all boy battle rap chuck 92 subscribe to my channel subscribe 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 salute to easy to block captain with this card i would say like the first i would say maybe three battles i couldn't really like watch like that especially the first one i wasn't able to get a chance to see the females but them females was wigging and I probably did like that um, that dark female better, if I'm not mistaken. But I will have to rewatch that one. And I think I'm going to have to rewatch that Skull and Bow. But from what I remember, Skull was actually dope. Skull was like Skull was doing his thing. I think Skull was more of the skinnier guy. Um, Skull was actually dope. Um, the dude Bo, he the one with the country um, act, like you know the one with the country accent, with the country accent. He was doing cool, but he had times like where he was slipping. So it seemed like he was damn near like losing a crowd. And it seemed like his confidence was like was kinda like down a like was kinda down a little bit, bro. But so lose easy to block captain with this card though. This was like this was a this was a dope card, bro. Um one out of ten, I could probably give this card maybe a seven. I could probably get this card maybe a seven or eight. Like this was like this was a dope card, bro. I kind of had a hard time with the stream, but of course I ain't been on Rap Grid for a while, so I be kind of forgetting how Rap Grid work. I'm so used to like watching the other like live battles, like the Chrome 23. I think the last time Chrome 23 did they stuff, I don't think it was on Rap Grid, and you know Urail doesn't do Rap Grid like that, so you know I finally start to understand how how Rap Grid work. It's like after a battle was done or whatever, you gotta press the go back arrow on the side and then you press the live thing again on the green screen like on a green screen and then next thing you know like a new battle coming up but salute the easy block captain bro this was a like this was a dope card man this card was dope i think the first battle that um like i i do want to watch the skull the uh, Skull versus um, Bow car again. I mean, a Skull versus Bow match again. But with me watching that battle a little bit, I could tell. I could just tell Skull got that battle, bro. Skull probably got that battle, if I'm not mistaken. Skull probably did get that. And you know, I'm not trying to make it like favoritism or anything, but he, but but it seemed like that. That's how it seems. But um. Let's start off with Muwap versus uh, um, versus Jay Moore, okay? Now, I am not big on Jay Moore like other people are, especially when I seen him go against King. Now, maybe I kind of called Jay Moore at the wrong time, but when Jay Moore went against King, bro, I'm like, okay. Me like like me like listening to Jay Moore. I'm like okay. I'm like this like this who y'all like. I mean, I'm like okay. I'm like I I get it, but eh, it's kind of like I'm eh, eh, you know that's what I kind of got from Jay Moore. He was he was he was dope, but boy he was taking a long time, and then he had to go and do the same bar again every bar this was last battle when he went against old boy king and i'm just like eh. i'm like i don't know bro i'm like you kind of taking too long you're going too slow and then when i seen king rap i'm like okay i'm like i like this dude king i'm like his energy is up he got the aggression he ain't letting jay moore talk through his rounds he like his deliveries on point um the like the like he was he was waking like his rhyme patterns was going i'm just like okay i'm like I see who I like better. I'm like, but I'm not gonna go as, but I'm not gonna like lean towards the favoritism just because I like King better. So as I kept like listening to King and Jay Moore, I'm just like, okay. I'm like, I like King better, and I felt like King won his won his battle. And I thought that they was gonna play King because it seemed like Jay uh, um, Jay Moore was the fan favorite. That's what it seemed like. But um, King, they, they end up giving it to King. So. I start keeping the same thing with like Jay Moore, and I'm just like, well, I'm like, he might gonna have to, he might gotta switch it up just, just a little bit. So when I seen him go against this dude Muwap, who I seen for the first time as well, just now, Jay Moore and Muwap, I'm listening to Jay Moore again, 
And I'm like, uh. his bars, his his punch lines has a has a has a hard. It's 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 it's, it's hard and dope, but at the same time, it's like a sense of humor with the comedy with it at the same time too. Like even though it's a punch and it's hard, it's still like a comedy like punchline. And that's what Jay Moore was doing a lot in this battle. But then, bro, when I seen Muwap come in, bro, Muwap was wicking, bro. Muwap kind of started off slow, but he started cooking. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, I got like I got Muwap like I'm saying like I got Muwap winning round one. I got him winning. Out, I'm saying I got him winning round one. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? He got that. I got him winning round one. Then a second round came. Jay Moore does what he does again. And I could tell Jay Moore was kind of trying to switch it up a little bit. But of course, you're not going to be able to like learn them type of things overnight. But if you could learn them type of things overnight, then I mean, hey, you want special kid. At the, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. But most people don't, you know what I'm saying, don't learn it overnight. Jay Moore, he had a solid second round. Then Muwap come in. Muwap. It's like he kind of going slow again. One thing I like look at Muwap with is stay up here with it. Don't always start off slow because you're going to go against certain battlers who you probably like want to battle. Like, I don't care if you want to go against the old red to the JCs to the Denny's or like whoever you like, who, like whoever, Sue Surfs or whoever, whoever you want to say. They might be the type to where they could just get you right there while you taking a long time. But Muwap, all of a sudden, he starts switching up his flow. I said, oh, I said, he one of those. Where he, like, you know what I'm saying? He one of those to where he starts switching his flow. I said, oh, yeah. I said, oh, yeah. I'm like, I like Muwap. I like him. I like Jay Moore, too. But I don't like Jay Moore as much as other people do. So if you want to ask me as far as, like, who won, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who won that battle with Muwap and Jay Moore? I think Muwap probably walked up out of there winning that battle 3-0. I'm not going to hold you. I think Muwap edged every round. He topped every round that Jay Moore had. And it and it's not really like it was a bad Jay Moore like that. I just felt like Muwap got it, bro. I, you know, I, I just felt like he got it. You know? So, you know what I'm saying? But salute to both of them, though. Salute to both of them. Right? Now, Tex versus Riggs. Now, I was always a fan of, you know, like I'm still a fan of, you know, like the intense moments of battle rap. And it comes to the point to where, you know, you still, like you guys still keep that same type of intensity, even like leading up to the battle. I'm a very, very big fan of that. So going into this battle with Tex and Riggs, my first time like watching Tex, I'm like, bro, I'm like, this don't even feel like this was like his first time. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at him. I'm like, okay. I'm like, he got the height. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he got the aggression with it to come with it with the bars. Tex is dope, bro. And the fact that Tex only, only really had, had about like five battles. Tex, like Tex did his thing, man. Like you know what I'm saying, like to like you know what I'm saying, salute to Tex, bro. Tex was doing his thing. Um, the way Tex was going crazy in his first round, I kind of judged Riggs off of his 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 body language because I'm just like, oh, I'm like, are you ready? And then when Riggs came in, Riggs didn't step back one time, bro. Riggs was on his heels to the point to where I feel like when it comes to 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 Tex and Riggs. Even with Riggs also doing like the Philly flow and stuff like that, that I wasn't too much of like a fan of. I'm not going to lie because when he did, I'm like, okay, what is he doing? Then he said Joey Jahad. You know, I guess that's what Joey Jahad used to do in his battles. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it really, really had the Philly people going crazy. Okay, cool. But this battle was neck to neck. And I like, I think you could actually like call like this battle a debatable. I think this could be a very, very debatable battle. But my whole thing is like, this is like what people like don't 
like this is like this is like what I feel like people was probably not seeing. Tech's pen. It might be better than Rick's pen. But Rick's kind of gave you everything else, like more than text. But at the same time, I'm not gonna sit here and act like text is just one dimensional because text, you know, even like giving out his sense of humor and just telling the whole crowd, like this dude said, like, let me, like this dude told me to hold his pocket. You know what I'm saying? You a, you a faggot, you know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Um, it was very, very like battle rapish. You know what I'm saying? It was very, very like battle rapish. It, 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 it gave the, the definition, the, the, the meaning of the art, the, the, the meaning of battle rap. You know what I'm saying? So Tex was actually like doing his thing in his battle um, with him saying that he going to violate him <laughs> and things like that. You know, talking about uh, his flag and talking about here, you know, here um, do all this stuff with like Riggs flag because, you know, Riggs, you know, he from where he from or whatever. We don't even have to really get into that. But, you know, um, Tex called that out. So Tex was actually doing good, bro. Um, this battle could go either way. I like this. Like this could be a two one either way. Even though I probably still, <sighs> I probably gotta watch that battle again, y'all. I'm never gonna hold y'all. I probably gotta watch that battle again. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not picking no winner. I'm not picking no winner on that one because that battle could go either way. They both like did their thing. Like Riggs didn't fall off, and Tex didn't fall off, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I got to give it to both of them. Now, the next battle. Now, almost got past them. And I'm glad they just not popped in my head. King versus Z to drop out. And it's funny because I was talking about King earlier, right? And it's and it's crazy because with me looking at this car when easy to block captain was talking about this car and everybody thought was talking about the trenches anniversary at first i didn't know king was on this car and me personally you know i'm just basically like okay i'm like the person that i want on this car is king i'm like put king on the car because i really really do like king he got the aggression he got the bars he got the delivery he ain't gonna like let you talk to his rounds he's showing a sense of humor like as he rapping you could tell he's actually like taking like his crafts um um, um, very, very seriously. And I also didn't mention this about Tex because Tex, Tex also said he actually sit back and just study battle rap and stuff too. So shout out to him. He also called out like EFB and all that too. So salute to him. But this is about like the King versus uh, Z to drop out. Um, King, that's like, he might be my favorite up in the trenches right now, bro. He might be my favorite. I'm not like I'm not even gonna like I'm not even gonna hold you. He he might be my favorite. And 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 you know Z the dropout. I I like Z the dropout, but we going we gonna get into it though. Now, when the uh, first round came, I almost like didn't catch up like with them because I had to get up out of the damn website and I had to go back into it. But I damn near like caught it on time. But I remember King saying, um, you know, stop my, um, you know, stop my time, stop my time. And then he was still wigging like he like he was doing what he was doing. I'm like, OK, I'm like, I, I'm like this. The, this one of the new cats I definitely came to see. So when Zeta dropout goes, Zeta dropout, he's 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 doing like, OK. I I feel like Zeta dropout bars could be better. And maybe his energy too. That's how I honestly feel about Z to drop out. I definitely feel like his bars could be better. And it's a funny quick story, y'all, because remember when um Charlie Clips was going against was that Yoshi? And he bought out Jesus, which was Z to drop out. Bro, I'm pretty sure everybody thought was well, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that was thinking this. On, on everything I love, I thought, like, I thought that was Mike P up in, like, a Jesus, like, up in some Jesus clothes, bro. On everything I love, I thought that was Mike P. 
And then to come to find out it was DNA Boy around the time when they was doing NW when they was doing NWX. So I think this like this is one of the people who DNA um brung around, you know what I'm saying, brung around the crew or whatever. And one thing that people is gonna say about you Z to drop out, they're going to like say like they're gonna put that angle on you like King did saying that you sound like Mike P. You gon you gonna get that a lot. And Mike P is respected in this battle rap culture too. So they really gonna be on you about that. They really, really gonna be on you about that. Um, what can you do about it? I mean, the only thing you could do is really just be yourself and just try your best to separate yourself from from from, uh, from other battlers. That's what you gotta do today. Like, like, look at all the big battlers. Easy the Black Captain separated himself from Ace I mean and Swamps and the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Fonzes, the Kid Chaoses, the Real Six. He separated himself from that. And it just one rap. And you might have to do the same thing. So I just felt like going like through like this, like going like through the three rounds, King was just doing everything better than Z to drop out. And Z to drop out, he couldn't match his energy. It's kind of like, I ain't trying to say King sound like K-Shine, but that's why K-Shine is probably like one of the most difficult people to beat because, and, and it's crazy because K-Shine not even like my favorites, like even like top five, probably not even top 10, probably not. But K-Shine energy, if you can't match a K-Shine energy, K-Shine is going to do whatever he could do. Like, like he's going to do whatever he want to do. And the moment he locks on you, he locks on you. And I feel like he the dropout. It like it was like just me looking at him versus versus King. He couldn't match anything what King was doing. And regardless if the cause he did say the, the time messed him up or whatever, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Um some of that could uh, just a little bit, it could have some a little some something, something to do with it, but Bro, even if even if you would have had that, bro, uh, uh, hey, King was just doing just too much for uh, Z to drop out. He was doing too much. Um, and 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 like I said, I I like Z to drop out, bro. And to be honest with you, even like when he had, like even like when he, even when his third round was probably his best round, it still went better than uh, Kings. I got Kings winning this battle thirty. 30. And I'm like, and I'm glad that he won the tournament because he deserved it. Now I know a lot of people saying that he do need to promote. And the last time I heard of King doing an interview, it was with Three Letterman, and 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 that was it. So yeah, he might need to show his face a little bit more. He might gotta show his face, you know what I'm saying? You know, here and there. But salute to King. He won this battle 30. King is dope as a mug, bro. King dope. King is dope. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. Now, um, the next battle: Sirius Jones versus John John. Now, this was three day prep, and of course you could tell. And the only way how you're not gonna be able to tell is with John John and Sirius Jones first round. John John the Don and Sirius Jones first rounds were dope. And it could be very, very debatable. Very, very debatable. To the point to where I wouldn't know who to pick up in the first rounds. Now the second round, John John got the damn second round easily on Sirius Jones. Cause I'm not even gonna hold you. I started dying out laughing when Sirius Jones was doing like the verb bars, the verbs that he could have been using for, you know, the bars that he could have been like using, like, you know what I'm saying, for verb, but of course he couldn't do it. Because, you know what I'm saying, Verb, you know what I'm saying, Verb canceled the battle on him. And as he's saying what he's saying, I was laughing. And then I start laughing even more harder when Sirius Jones telling John John, like, okay, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That worked. That worked right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that worked. That worked. So so, so Sirius Jones is kind of in a way admitting, okay, yeah, I had to get, like, this Verb bar out. And... To me, he used that that whole second round was for verbs. So ain't no way in the hell I could get that to him. Ain't no way in the hell I could get at the Sirius Jones. I can't get at the Sirius Jones, bro. Not the second round, bro. And I felt like John John probably got the third round too. So 
if we could sit here and say John John probably won this battle 2-1. I'm with that, but if you guys said Jones won this Jones won this battle over John John, nah, I probably would end up feeling a way about that because he did it. He didn't. He like he just did. Jones did not win this battle against John John, bro. John John won this battle two one. And the way people talk about Jones, I don't like the way certain people talk about Jones because Jones is actually dope and Jones is actually a difficult person to beat. But it just comes to the point to where it's this thing to where people just don't respect a serious Jones. I, I don't know why. Well, like, let's just say that they do, but they walk around acting like they don't. Like, I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because if you guys want to talk about as far as his, his altercations like that, he actually, like, had, you know what I'm saying, up in the past or whatever. Well, hey, that's, that's, that's normal stuff in the streets, bro. That's normal stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the normal, like I'm saying, like, that's the normal life. You know what I'm saying? You live as a man. So if people are gonna just put that on Sirius Jones and hold that on Sirius Jones, it is what it is. But I am messed up, but I know I'm not gonna be one of them people. But like I said, John John won this battle two one. He won this battle two one. <laughs> and 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 Jones was dope. Like his pen was dope. But other than the pins and John John, you know, doing good with like his punching or whatever, I gotta like look at everything else as far as who did what better. And I felt like John John did stuff better than Sirius Jones. He did. His strategy was better than Sirius Jones' strategy. But, you know, sometimes it, it, it kind of mess up because if Sirius Jones had like two months or, or something like that to prepare for John John, we might be getting a, we might be getting a damn different Sirius Jones. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is on that, man. For real. Av versus Hollow was so damn weird. That battle was weird. I didn't I didn't like that battle. I didn't like that battle. <laughs> Ab versus Hollow Bro. <laughs> I always had a problem with Hollow voice at the end of its punchline sometimes Av never has been one of my favorite battle rappers to watch but I do know Av is a dangerous opponent to go against I will say that but when you hear like a run midi or av kind of like at the ending of close to when the battle rap event is over, it doesn't hit as hard. Punchers hit very, very hard when it's when it's their second, like when they're the second people on the stage, when they're the first people on the stage, or even maybe the third people on the stage, it hits more harder. And I kind of feel like when it kind of gets towards the end, when you start hearing punchers like kind of, kind of at the toward the, you know, to the ending of the of the battles, when it's almost done, the punches just don't hit as hard, bro. It it it, it just don't, it don't hit as hard. But if you want to ask me as far as who, who was talking better, you can't even really say. You could say Av. See, look, this is the thing with Av, though. This the like this is the thing with Av. What makes Av dangerous is that he could talk to you while punching. From Nitty, don't be doing that like that. Big K known for doing that. So that's why Av is dangerous. But if I had to say who had the better material, to me it was Hollow. To me it was Hollow. But I don't think they were feeling hollow like that and they was barely kind of like low-key feeling av like that bro so off of first watch i might have to watch that again but i like hollow material better hollow material was better bro it like it just was av was doing the same thing every battle when when hollow when hollow was calling av the cd man and like and stuff like that bro that was hilarious bro i don't care what nobody say that was like, like, that was super hilarious. So, 
I'll probably have Hollow winning this battle 2-1. But if somebody to Av win this battle 2-1, I'm not really... Like, I like I can't really be mad, bro. But that, that, that battle kind of got, like, a little messed up to me. I wouldn't even go back and watch that battle. I'm, I'm, I'm cool on that. So, next up, bro. <laughs> Easy versus Ill Will. Boy, me first watching Easy is when he went against Don Marino. And I'm pretty sure that's, you know, a lot of people first times watching him too. Let me tell you something, bro. Easy to, easy to block captain ain't done nothing but elevate. He ain't done nothing but elevate. The easy like lose like the easy lose against Gigi. Yes. Did he lose against Charlie? Yes. Did he lose against John John? It was very very debatable. But I had John John winning by a close edge. By a close edge, I had John John winning. Easy to black captain have personal situations going on and and things like that. So, like, let's just like chop this fable right before I even get into this. You never know what people deal with behind closed doors. People could be on this website doing what they do, but you never know what people deal with behind closed doors. Like, don't nobody still know about. You know, for what if it Remy still with easy and I don't like, and it's not even that I care because I really, really, really don't give two, you know what, I don't care about that. But you never know what people could be dealing with because he's the black captain was talking about like his mama, you know what I'm saying that passed away and rest in peace to his moms. You know, us people like love our moms, bro, and we never know when when somebody is gonna go. And you could tell that kind of bothered Easy through the Charlie Clips battle and also leading up to it. And then on top of that, like, let's just say if Easy, you know, with, you know, <laughs> like, let's just say Easy, you know, with a, like a Remy, something like that, right? And Remy could be going with she going through with like her son. She was about to get like a event popping and, you know, Easy and her could be going through that whole situation. And so a lot of that stuff puts distraction up in like the battle rap too, which of one of the reasons why Easy the Black Captain was quiet for a long time. You also have Remy being quiet for a long time too after a situation that happened after a situation that happened with her son. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like um I'm pretty sure it it was hard for Easy like, you know what I'm saying, like for the past months. And probably like through the whole year. But he didn't show none of this this battle. Okay, and hands down, Easy the Black Captain won this battle 3 0. Okay, he won this battle 3 0. I don't care what nobody say, he won. It don't matter. He won this battle 3 0. And I know some people was like, oh, well, we didn't get 100%. Well, that ain't Easy Black Captain fault. Okay, Easy the Black Captain, he, he gave a a lesson learned to 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 battlers like an ill will. Because if I'm easy to block captain, and then people tell me like, oh well, you know, you didn't even beat uh ill will, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even respected like that. Like he he battled this person, battled this person, you know what I'm saying, before he got to you. The first thing that would come out of my mouth, if I'm easy to block captain, I'm like, well, it's a lesson learned. And then I will also tell him if I'm easy to block captain. I bet you whoever I go against, they won't do that to me again. And I'm sitting here telling you, whoever decides to go against Easy the Black Captain, I bet you they won't do it. I, I bet you they like I bet you they won't do that crap again. I bet you that. I bet you that. I bet you they won't do that. I bet you they won't do that to him again. Okay? Easy the Black Captain won this battle 3-0. There's no excuses. Okay. There's no excuses with this whole situation. Okay. He won this battle hands down. Easy to block cap like y'all probably have gotten the best easy to block captain that y'all ain't seen for a long time, bro. Y'all probably had gotten the best easy to block captain. Even if Ill Will was on his stuff, 
of course it would have been a better battle. I'm not going to take that away from your will. But boy, it was going hard. But boy, it was going to be hard as hell to be the easy to block captain like that. That was going to be hard. That bar. People saying like that I messed up black love from what like. <laughs> people were saying like that I messed up black love. And then he said like and then after that bar, you say. From 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 what I was told, I'm black too, <laughs> bro. And you had a crowd going crazy like that. And then you talking like, and then you also talking to Ill Will about the Midwest thing and that having been rolled down so perfectly to a battler, to a battler, battler like an Ill Will. And let me tell you something about Ill Will. I, I hate. I hate when it will do stuff like this, bro. I hate when it will do stuff like this. I, I hate it. But you never know what people dealing with or going through. You know, you never know. Sometimes people got to go out and get that bread. And sometimes people feel like they don't want to call out on nobody because they, because they just made a promise. And they just want to just go up in there and just give like they best. Who knows, right? <sighs> But y'all know how I honestly feel about the ill will. Let me tell y'all, bro. All of a sudden, when people start talking about ill will, and then I look at his battle, then I be like, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ill will is that. But why do I always have to be reminded? Because it will have battles like this. That's why I always have to be reminded for it will. And I hate, I hate when it will do that to me, bro. I hate that. It will be on fire. And then he'll go against somebody who, who we don't need to go against for the time, like for the time being. And then he'll drop the ball. He'll do good again like the next three, four. And then he'll drop the ball. Now, the difference between an ill will and like a mook and a verb or even like a John John, John John, mook, and verb either is just going to win their battles or they're going to lose their battles, maybe because the other opponent was better or maybe because they didn't like the type of battle rap talk that verb and mook and john john had that day but one thing you're not going to get from them three battlers is choking it will does that bro it will i have three cold battles battles and when he had them battles you know he could go against anybody but then when that fourth battle come he'd mess around and like drop the ball against rosenberg against old boy pain and now he did it against Easy the Block Captain. And to be real, if you was going to go through all that, you didn't even have to go against Easy the Block Captain this year. You could have just waited to go against him the next year. But it's cool. It's 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 whatever. But that's probably how I'm always going to feel about it. Will you're going to have these battles? Boom, 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 and then it's going to come to the point to where you're going to drop the ball. You're going to mess around and choke. That's why I always have to get reminded by Ill Will, bro. And Ill Will, he has very, very good delivery. His delivery might be top three, bro. He has very, very good delivery. He could talk that talk. He got bars. He could give you punches. He could give you the sense of humor. He could be funny. Charlie, I just don't say Charlie just now. Because Ill Will and Charlie has a weapon that a lot of people don't have, bro. They have that. They have all of that. They don't have no type of weakness, bro. The only weakness that it will have is when he take battles that he don't need to take and then he chokes. It will mess around and just beat itself like up and like the battles. But I'm not going to take that away from Easy. Easy has a 3 0 resume on it will. It is carved in, it's written on the wall. This was a dope, easy to block captain. This easy to block captain wasn't playing with y'all, bro. At all. 
at all. And let me tell you something. I know it's a lot of talks with Big K and Easy. Big K would for sure give Easy a fight more on like a max out, the blue room. Because if Big K goes to Easy Block Captain, the 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 trenches, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough for Big K. And I know a lot of people ain't gonna wanna hear me when I say this. That's gonna be tough for Big K, bro. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. One thing I know about Big K, Big K is very hard to beat. Yes, he is. But the thing with Big K is, once Big K feel like he don't like have that crowd, Big K is like low key gone after that. Once he noticed that it's that he feel like his favoritism, he done. That's one thing I know about Big K. So with all y'all talking about what Big K could, like I I know Big K could be easy, but easy could also beat Big K. So you know. That might should be easy to block at the next battle, bro. You know, that that might be his next battle, bro. But this was a dope-ass card, though, um, easy to block. This was dope, bro. Um, Salute to you. But, yeah, I got easy to block Captain winning this battle 30. King won his battle 30 against Z to drop out. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I got Hollow winning 2-1 against Av. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Um, I got John John being Sirius Jones 2-1. Um, very, very debatable match with uh, Tex and um, and Riggs. So, shouts out to this card, bro. But this is your boy, Battle Rap Chuck. I'm up out of here, man. Go.